Hello folks, this is Brian from Farmer Supply Sales Incorporated and today we're going to talk about editing and editing fields, uh, merging and things like that. I'm going to click on the fields icon here and then you can see how, see how I've got two back fields but they're just different by a space there, okay? and then this by barn and, and things like that. So I'm gonna clean that all up. I even have one here that's really not even mine, so I'm just gonna delete that. So the way that I'm going to delete the field is if I press this button right here, and then that gives me the icon where I can select all, or I can just click on the one. So then here, uh, I've got three different options right here. Uh, that SHP, if I've got any type of application map or harvest map that I may want to export that as a shape file, then I can go ahead and do that. I can select harvest and then I could select year um, if I had multiple years or different like an application or a harvest map. If I hit export, then that will then export it as a shape file and then I can go into the tools button here. Then after the tools come up, I can go to files and then you will see how it is putting that all together in a zip file. So it put that into a shape file right here. Then if I wanted to download that, I click on the selector and then I can click on the download file and then download as a zip file. All right. Then as it's on my hard drive as a zip file, then I can export it and I have my shape files. Okay. So now I'm going to go do some more editing. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. That takes me back to my field page. Tools page, sorry. I'm going to go to my map and then my field. All right. So now this farm right here is really not even mine. Um, so I'm just going to delete it. So if I hit the selector icon, I can uh, go ahead and send this to my insurance agent for a harvest map or things like that. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So I'm just going to press the delete button. Are you sure you want to delete it? Um, you need to make sure because this operation cannot be d undone. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So um, in clicking on this one, I'm looking for any operational maps. There's no operational maps here. So I don't need to merge and unmerge. I just need to get rid of the bad name. So once again, clicking on the selector icon, then clicking on the one that doesn't have the space, and then go ahead and hit delete. And once again, I can delete that. All right. So now I've got a Highway 151 North and a Highway 151 South. I'm going to actually merge those two fields because they're one field now. So I'm going to go ahead and merge them together so then I get all the operational maps together. All right. So I'm going to go into the Highway 151 and then I'm going to hit the informational icon. All right. Then you will see this merge here. Clicking on that, then it will sh give you a list of fields here that you can merge that with. So I don't want to just do all of them. I only want the Highway 151 South. So if I click on that, then I click Merge. Then what it will do after a while, it, it's as you can see, the merge process has started. So then if I get out of this and get out, you will see that the South field boundary is gone. You will also see that Highway 151 South is gone there. So now if I click on that, I click on the field analyzer, then for 2014 has corn there, and then as you can see 2014 soybeans are there. So it has merged them together. All right, into one field. Now, since they are merged into one field, naturally I wouldn't want to call it north anymore. So if I hit the informational icon, then Highway 151 North, here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit button. And then I'm just going to delete that because it's just the Highway 151 West 
I'm actually going to call it Highway West Highway 151 now. And then hit save. Okay, so now it makes more sense and that it's the whole west field. All right, so then that has that way. So now that's actually kind of not what I really wanted ultimately. So I'm going to go ahead and unmerge those fields. So if I click on it again, hit my informational icon, then I hit unmerge. So then it remembers what was merged and unmerged. Okay. So it looks like in April we merged and unmerged some stuff, but I know that this one here was in December 20th, so then I'm going to unmerge that. Okay, so unmerge process has started. So go ahead and get out of this, and once again get out of this, and you'll see that they are both there. You got Highway 151 South, and then if I scroll down you'll see West Highway 151. So once again I'm going to change the name back to Highway 151. I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit button, delete the west, and then go north. And now everything is back to normal. Go ahead and get out of this and get out of this. And now you see that's the north field and that's the south field. And go ahead and get out of this and look at this again and you will see that I've got the south field there and the north field there. Okay, So now this one here is by barn. I'm going to look at that one, see if there's any operational maps, nothing there. So once again I'm going to just go ahead and get out of all this stuff again and delete that so that it's not there. So I'm just cleaning up my, my John Deere Operations Center to put everything back to normal. I also noticed while I was looking around at my data that I actually have something wrong in my triangle field. So I'm going to scroll down and I can select triangle here or if I hit triangle I can click on that and then that will bring up my field analyzer. Okay. I must have had my monitor set incorrectly because this says 2014 soybean seeding and it actually was 2015. So what I need to do in order to fix that is I need to be able to change that to 2015. So I'm going to hit my pencil icon right here and then it's going to, there's my variety, I could change that if I needed to. If I needed to change from corn to, or from soybeans to corn, I could change that right here. But I do know that this was 2015, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to change it to 2015, and then I'm going to hit save. All right. So now, while that is being updated, it says right here, data editing and merging. So then, now you will see that now I've got 2015 soybean map there. Okay, so then now if I go out, I will see my failed analyzer was planted and everything like that. So, thank you very much. Have a great day.